everyone welcome to sketch a day live how you doing happy what day is it tuesday tuesday january 25th happy day to you hope you're doing well i'm good today was awesome i'm uh i'm a morning person by nature there's lots of good energy this morning so been riding that wave hope you're good we are well, I'm 3D printing in the background, I should say. So my door is a little open here just to cool things off a bit. Can't have it be too hot for the show. I'm going to keep it tight because I got to pick up my kids from school. Apologies for the weird late time this week. This is the only time I could find to make it work between yesterday and today. So probably get a few different people. What's up, Russ? How you doing? The variable. Check out the variable on YouTube, by the way. One of our... Patrons, Apple Jacks, one of our supporters with a new badge. I just noticed new badge on Apple Jacks. I forgot what that one means. I'm terrible. Um, but yeah, I'm a morning person. So I get up at like five, six, and it's just go, 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 go time. That That is how I am. Anyhow, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Russ hasn't seen the Lego guy yet. All right. Here he is. Well, I shouldn't say Lego guy. A block figure. Okay, it's a block figure. Don't come, don't at me, Lego. Don't even dare. It's a block figure. So there it is. Um, learned a lot in this process, actually. Everything from where to orient the parts so I get the best prints from a structural integrity standpoint. So this one was kind of just the first prototype. It's rough in some spots, like the legs here, kind of rough. I hadn't dialed everything in. My little beard here is a little rough. You probably can't see that too well on camera but there he is right here should we have him hang out with us don't break here we go he can hang out while i draw maybe maybe hold my favorite or a marker or something there we go it's now holding holding my white pen for me all right so that's that's the block figure it's not a lego guy okay don't get me in trouble I've also had some people say, oh, that's that's not creative at all. It's not really designed. Cool. Good for you. Um, people love them. <laughs> all right. Let's get started. I'm just going to do, well, by way of information. Hey, Jordan, what's up? Um, we are doing bird houses this week. So I'm going to continue doing some birds in general. I'll, I'll use reference this time. I won't uh, try and create some weird bird today. Um, so I'll use some reference and I'll try and mention the name of the bird. Maybe I'll switch the colors, but that's about it. Shout out again to patrons and channel members. Thanks for your continued support. Much appreciated. All y'all. All right. Let's start with some warm ups here. I'm using a paper mate flare pen. You'll probably hear my 3d printer go off in just a sec. One of my favorite things about the block figure project, though, is the opportunity to create uh, figures that I that are diverse for people. You know, representation. I've done a lot with um, natural hairstyles. That's been fun. So, I'm working on getting a web page up where I'm not gonna like put it out there, but I'll give people the link so they can customize their stuff, request one whatevs open to cash or trade i did print that myself i did i designed and printed it so well i shouldn't say designed i modeled and printed it myself it actually isn't as simple as you think like people look at it and they're like oh i could do that you know if you if you meet a lot of people like that in your life that say i could do that my favorite response is, but did you? I could do that, but did you do it? Did you put in the time and effort? Get your resources together? It's easy to to throw shade on someone, but... And don't worry, nothing happened. I'm not like in a mood or anything, but... I just think about that when people are critical sometimes. Okay, I do have to run up to my kitchen for one thing. I'll be right back. 
And then I'll continue this warm up here. I don't know if I will do that, Jordan, because I'm not I'm not one of those people who geeks out on all the settings. <laughs> like my Prusas are pretty much stock. Whoop, pretty much stock. I don't tinker with much. The most I've tinkered with has been, and we're talking about 3D printers here. The most I've tinkered with so far is uh, filament settings for supports, temperature, um, and then I've kind of experimented with some raft options. I'll be right back. Yes, who's back? <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Thanks for your patience. What's up, Latrice? How you doing? Yeah, exactly. If someone's critical, just say, you know, why didn't you do it? Oh, because it's easy. Then do it. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I've got got five printers in the background doing my bidding. It's hard it's hard not to get carried away though <clears throat> and want to get another printer even though I know I don't need it. But some printers have uh different settings or different capabilities. My next step is building an enclosure for my Prusas here so that I can do some other filaments. And setting it up in a space where I can have an exhaust fan and all that, so. All right, let's do some ellipses and then we'll do some birds. <clears throat> It's not so much the hours as it is when you're doing something mechanical. You have to have an idea of how the pieces fit together, some idea of appropriate tolerances um, so that parts move. There's figuring out the right orientation to print it in so that it's structurally sound, but also you can pull your supports off. There's a lot to think about. You're right though, Jordan. I uh, actually did approach, was it Creelty? I was like, hey, send me a printer. I'll show it off on my channel. And they were like, we don't think your audience fits our audience. So I was like, cool. And then I bought two more Prusas. <laughs> uh, there are better printers anyways, in my opinion. But to each their own. To each their own. All right, so one more row here, or column, I guess. <laughs> Sorry, I just got Russ's message. Has anyone ever asked you to sketch something live? And then you see it later. <clears throat> they pass it off as their own idea. I haven't, but if you see it, I'd love to see it. If you see someone do it. I try. Usually I can tell when, usually, not always, but usually I can tell when someone is trying to get me to do their homework assignment. I can usually tell. 
if the request is oddly specific <clears throat> in terms of like everything from the view to the the topic usually you can tell and i'm gonna do birds today don't worry just warming up here i, I sometimes will do a mindless car just to get the juices flowing appreciate y'all leaving comments on videos by the way i noticed uh you've been doing that so thank you i try to get to them um it's a great way to help with the algorithm and stuff <clears throat> Oh, you have an Ender 3. Nice. I was interested in their... I forgot. It's not the CR10, but they do have one that has like a a treadmill. So it's like a 3D printer mill. It's really interesting. So I was interested in that one. And they basically... They basically laughed me off and were like, no. You are not... You are not worthy of a free $300 printer or 600. I was like, okay, cool. Cool, cool. That's cool. I used to want a Tesla until I saw how poor the quality control is on those vehicles. Have you have you guys seen that? Where there's like gaps all over. I do love cars, Applejacks. I do love drawing cars, but I'm going to draw some birds and birdhouses. Don't you worry. It just takes a minute for people to trickle in, you know. Can't do all the, all the good stuff right away. I mean, I could. So, Fan Friday is back. Yes, it's back. We're making it happen. I'm trying to keep this whole streaming thing simpler for myself, too, so I don't get too burned out. Um... For a while, I was trying to push myself, I think, a little too hard. So, you know, that doesn't always work. Anyhow, bringing it back. So, we're also going to make some changes. If you want your sketch sketched over live on the show with feedback, you got to be a patron or channel member. Wah, wah. So I'll be announcing that. But I will still feature your work and say, hey, nice sketch. Thanks for submitting. But if you want to get resketched, get the live feedback, all of that stuff, <clears throat> then yeah. Got to be a got to be a patron. Where did I get... I got a question here. I'm using a Papermate Flare pen. It's a very cheap, cheap pen. It's not the best pen, but it's cheap, and I use a lot of pens, so I like it for that reason. And it has a nice ability to... I'm feeling really good today, by the way, guys. I just have to say that again. Today's been today's been a good day. Um, but it is cheap. So if you're interested in the stuff I use, check out this link. Looks a bit like the Rolls Royce. You know, that's the thing with a car. Every car looks like a car. So I've given up on on trying to like do anything different because there's always someone's gonna be like, that's a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that so i've never seen the rolls royce so i don't know if anything this reminds me of the old um there was a ford it's not the cry it's not the ford 500 i forgot what it's called but there was a ford concept that had this like really rounded off nose to it that I used to like back in the day. Maybe that's that's where it's coming from. Who knows? Who knows and who cares? What was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So feedback on Friday's show. If you want your sketch redone, 
be a patron or channel member. Hit me up. Let me know. Hey, I'm really struggling with this part or whatever. And I will take care of you. Also, patrons and channel members get priority on requests. And I actually don't care if it's your homework, if that's the case. <laughs> so. Or work, work. That wheel is way too big for this car, but I think I'm done. Why? My computer was capturing all of that as text. Hey, Scott Robertson is here. Hello, hello. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm feeling super conscious. <laughs> so conscious. What's up, Scott? We still need to get together and chat. Uh, it wasn't the Ford Contour. Um... I always cheat on my wheels. It's it's a thing. But if I was doing a serious sketch, I would totally totally fix it. So yeah, Scott, my apologies on dropping the ball, but we got to get uh get to chat. It would be cool to catch up. All right. Let's do some burbs. Some different burbs. I only have about 45 minutes left at the most. So <clears throat> I don't know what is. What is this? This is a. Looks like a robin or something. I'm gonna do like a different bird. What is this one? Oh, a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are cool. I'm just looking. It just by way of information for those for those wondering. Uh, I've done this before, but uh, usually what I'll do is you know take a quick look at some inspiration and particularly the cool thing with Google images is you can see your bird from different points of view. So if you want to do something different, you can, right? If you like a certain view, but it's really, it's a really powerful tool, believe it or not, to help you um, quickly familiarize yourself with something. Thanks Scott. Much appreciated. Um, okay. So let's, let's just draw a couple shapes here. See where we land. Keep it loose. And then we'll do a birdhouse later as well. Just quick sketch, but you can kind of see here, right? I'm starting with these, like, it's not an exact circle in 3D, obviously, the cross section of a bird, but I do, I do like to um, simplify things when I'm drawing as much as I can, you know. And if you are drawing and you're worried, and oh, I don't know if this is gonna turn out. You know, as long as you have a plan, you're fine. You know, I plan to use markers, so that gives me a little freedom and flexibility in terms of um, what I'm doing and how this may look in the end, right? So just remember to relax as you're drawing, because I should remind myself that. Thanks, Scott. That's very generous of you. You know, okay, I'll, t I'll s tell a little story. So, when I was a kid, <laughs> when I was a student, um, you know, there there wasn't there wasn't a lot out there by way of resources and and information, as far as like, you know, now you just go online and you're like, how do I sketch like a product designer? And you'll find tons and tons of resources, right? Well, back in the day, there wasn't that. There were a couple. There were a couple things, and one of those things I happened upon 
was a website and it, I think it's I think I'm pretty sure it's still active. Um drawthrough.com. Scott might be like, "Don't go there." But uh <laughs> draw through. I I use that so much. Um draw through as well as the um Nomen workshop. I I was too poor to buy any of the Nomen stuff. But we had we had some of those at my at my school. I'm trying to remember if Scott did stuff for Nomen. I'm pretty sure he did. And then there was the the bike rendering video. Not video, but tutorial that Scott did. It was like a bicycle. I remember that one, Photoshop rendering. Um, but yeah, shout out to you too. I mean, you've been certainly tremendous influence and force for good within industrial design as well as illustration, entertainment industry, footwear. Like Scott's done so much stuff, automotive as well. Okay, I don't want to keep embarrassing embarrassing Scott, so. But yeah, happy to. Any music happening today? Oh, is it not playing? Oh, shoot. <laughs> what is going on? Is it not playing through? Hold on. Oh, it's just like low, really low. Okay, let me know if you can hear it. You should be able to know, right? Let me know if it's too loud. Something weird happened with my audio setup. So, hello, James. <laughs> Burbs the word. We're doing a. It's a big head. We're doing uh, birds this week on the show. Well, bird houses. So I figured I'd do a bird or some birds. Some birds of some kind. Maybe this guy's like hanging out here too. Because there's happens to be another branch going this way. Boom! Solved it. I was so excited. I just saw that they they have a new R-Type video game. Do you remember Super R-Type from back in the day? You guys remember that? Anyway, I saw there's a new one. Oh yeah, the Dr. Bird. It's the one with the tails. It has like so it's it's a hummingbird, right? So it's a hummingbird, but it's got like these long tails. Now you can hear the music is low. Why is it so low? This is weird. Did I make a change? No. Still there. I mean I can turn it up a little bit. See, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be too loud, so you let me know. Let's, let's, let's start over here. Maybe that's what we needed. Okay, see you, Scott. Thank you. I'll be in touch. He was here. <laughs> He's now gone, James. You missed it. Uh, let's see. I usually talk about what I'm watching. I tried watching Station Eleven. I don't love it. You guys love it? This one's cute. It's got like these little beady eyes. I kind of want to put arms on the bird, but birds don't have arms, right? That'd be weird. Do a couple more of these, and then I'll do 
some birdhouse stuff. This eye is really bugging me too. There, that feels better. Yeah, every now and then he pops in, <laughs> so I just, I don't know when that's going to be. I guess I should bring my A game every day then. Every day. Lori's like, who is this Scott guy you keep talking about? <laughs> Who that? All right, let's do some more. Those are my, those are my uh, weird warm-up birds. Let's do some good ones now. Two books last week. You read two books in a week. That is so wild to me. I was like, seriously, so wild. Okay, now I'm kind of making up a bird. When I said I wouldn't. Little fat little guy here. So yeah, if you can simplify things, right? So the wings kind of like that. If you can simplify and then add a few things to it. Once you get the gist of it. At least I, th I think so. I don't know. Maybe someone will be like, how dare you desecrate the birds and represent them in that way. How dare you? Interloper. So yeah, if you want feedback on Friday, become a patron. Any level, really. Just become a patron, support, and... I'm going to throw your sketches up, and if you have questions or want feedback, I'll make that happen. This guy's cool. I like him. Or her. Or it. Whatever. Birds are interesting, um, for those who don't know, anyways. the The male birds are usually the ones that are the colored interesting looking birds if there is a fe is if there is a male female pairing of birds it's really interesting oh like a bobble bird <laughs> yeah he is lori he uh, scott robertson is is one of those people that <clears throat> inspired me to do what i'm doing um he is he's on a whole different level I'm also trying to drink more water, like I said, so. <clears throat> oh, um, Patreon's easier for me to communicate. There's like a whole stream and flow of chat and stuff. I did the YouTube channel membership just to give people an option. But I appreciate it either way. Um, I... But if if I would say do Patreon Patreon if uh, if that's easy enough for you. <clears throat> oh, I'm glad that your class is using our using the stuff here. Hopefully, it's it's been helpful. Hopefully. Beaks, beaks a little bit weird there.
But yeah, either way is fine. Um, I tend to post a little bit more in Patreon, but some people wanted some people wanted that Google sauce, so I did that. Music brought to you by Paul Sohi. Thanks again, Paul. <coughs> you can use the link in the video to check out his stuff if you like the musics. And then I made some too. I think I'm going to put them on SoundCloud. So if people want to. If people really want to listen to just some chill stuff, you're more than welcome to. Oh yeah, so TV I'm watching. I tried watching Station Eleven. Didn't, I couldn't really get into it. <clears throat> I have no idea what it is, Vegeta. I'm just looking up random birds, enjoying random stuff. Um, we are doing birds, however, for, or sorry, bird houses for our weekly sketch challenge. Just a little something something. Used to be a little better at it, but trying to bring it back here. So I'll do some birdhouses in a bit. And I'm just using a pen here for now. I might throw I might throw some some marker stuffs on a couple of these, but we'll see. So like the music's not too loud right now, right? I need to, what I probably need to do is get like a, a test stream set up where someone like tunes in and tells me when the levels are too low or whatever. It's probably what I should do. So much to do. It's gonna be a busy year, but I'm excited. Ready to go. Make it happen. But yeah, we're just we're just doodling. Keeping it chill. Oh, I did have a chat with um I think I can say this. Pretty sure I can. The CEO of Gravity Sketch today. So I'm going to be on a podcast. I'm not sure when it'll air, but I'm doing one with them. And then I'm going to be trying to stream using the Oculus a little bit. Or the, not Oculus, sorry. The Meta, Meta Quest. Just creating some stuffs. <clears throat> Do some squiggles here, some background. <laughs> yeah, it's more like amb ambient music. That's all. I just I I don't want it to overpower my voice, but I'm also a little closer to the mic than I'm usually usually positioned, so I just need to update my setup. Really, is all all that is. How are we on time? I have no idea. Okay, two. All right, because I got to pick my kids up. 
from school in a little bit, so that's that's the hard stop I'm running up against. I like how little squiggles like this can can sometimes just give like a a nice natural background to your drawings. Like you can do a lot with lines. Isn't that interesting? Just how p the power of lines themselves. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I do have a Oh, that's another another perk of being a patron or member. I do have a um and an ink guide and those guides are free to your patrons and channel members so i think that one runs like 15 bucks the digital guide is 30. jordan i'm mailing yours out i have not forgotten don't worry um make them walk make the birds walk okay <clears throat> is that what you oh the kids <laughs> not the birds um it's snowing today. It's okay. So true story, and this is kind of funny. Um, they wanted to walk from school for a long time. They're like, "Dad, can we? Can we please? Can we please uh, walk from school?" And I was like, "Okay, sure." Um, I keep drawing these not flying, so maybe maybe we'll do like a a flying. This one's just from my head, but maybe we'll do like some sort of um, flying situation on Friday. Anyhow, so they really wanted to walk home, right? And so I'm like, cool. So they they start walking with their friends, you know, 20 minutes, 30, 40, 45 minutes later, they show up. They're panting like dad we had no idea it was so far i'm like yeah it's almost a mile from school and you were probably talking and you know hanging out and stuff of course it's gonna take a while <laughs> so after that they they haven't been as eager eager to walk i'm trying to figure out the tiktok thing too like how do i make a short form sketch video i know some people um they'll do like a sketch beforehand and uh and then they'll like erase a part of it sometimes i've seen i've seen stuff like that it's a weird weird bird um i'm trying to figure it out okay let's do some bird houses i i did tell them that story i'm like you don't know how good you good you have it with your game systems, I had to walk uphill. It wasn't snow for me. It was it was the searing heat and humidity of Jamaica. So sketch a day live. Thanks for hanging out. Had Scott Robertson pop in. All right, some quick birdhouses. I think last time I had done like a. <clears throat> some sort of mid-century modern thing or more modern looking birdhouse but we never quite finished it i know some of you are even or i shouldn't say some of you uh felix felix also a patron he's actually designed and is 3d printing his i kind of like this one so i may just roll with it actually um but he is 3d printing his i thought that was cool i'm actually my kids want because I, I don't do pets right i know some people do i don't i'm like if i have to take care of one more living thing i'm gonna lose my mind but so they know that but my son had the idea he's like dad what if we just get a bird feeder that would be cool, right? And I'm like, yeah, you know, we could do that. We could do something like maybe maybe this has like some cool sighting to it. Kind of like that. And then this would be the bottom of the birdhouse. Little 
a little perch here. It's kind of cool. Some quick sketches and then we'll do like a, a cleaned up something. I know I said I'd do marker on the birds, but time and all. Do I watch some sport? I don't have time for sports ball. Get that out of my face. Just kidding. I <laughs> I appreciate sports. I just don't have time for it to sit and watch like a football game. Like I don't I don't understand. Like it 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 doesn't even make sense to me in my head. Like that that is reality for some people. Like, oh, you have time to do that? Because I, I parent full time as a single parent, and so if I'm not working, which unfortunately sometimes has to be a lot, then I'm spending time with my kids. So I don't really have time to sit there and, and you know, watch stuff with them like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing the dog thing, Lori. <laughs> they know. They know. He's even, my oldest has even been like, well, what about, what about a turtle or this or that? And I feel, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, it's like, all right. You boys are gone in the summer. I'm going to continue with this perch idea because I really like it. Like, you guys you guys are gone in the summer. I don't want to be responsible for an animal when you guys are gone. So we've had that chat many times. Is this hole too big? I don't know how big birdhouse holes are. It's starting to feel like a, like a guitar. All right, let me look up some mid-century modern houses. Mid-mod house. I just want to see how the exteriors look. Okay, cool, cool. Got some slats. Got some overhangs. Check, check, check. Lots of glass. Awesome. I don't think the birds would like glass, though. So I'm just going to stick to my, my wood on the outside. That's what I'm going to do. Sketch a bird from a bottle shape. I suppose you could do that. So yeah, I am committed to two streams a week, so you can expect that from me. Um, as I mentioned before, I've got some projects, at least the patrons know, I've got some big projects this year that I'm working on. So I've just got to, and I love doing this, don't get me wrong, but I've got to be smart about time and all the things. So if you're like, ah, I haven't seen him around. He used to stream on Sundays, every Sunday. Well, I can't every Sunday, but I still like sci-fi. So sci-fi Sunday is like a maybe. So I'd say two to three. Um... That's what I'm going to be doing. And I did mention I'm going to put together a calendar. And at the beginning of the week, I'll just say, you know, hey, these are the days I'm going to be streaming. If you want to join, that's cool. If not, that's cool too. All right, these are basically the same birdhouse. So let me do something different. <clears throat> Maybe. Oh, your kids want a dog too, Jordan? Maybe I could do a birdhouse that's like two primitive shapes combined. This always breaks my brain. Always. But what I really want is for this one to stick out. That's what I want. Okay, I'm going to redo this. But I'm going to do two primitives together because um, I think that will be a good foundation and I'll marker, marker render it. Just in case I forgot, this is the back. Oh, also, for the most recent videos, what I've been doing um, is adding chapter markers. So let me know if that's helpful. So meaning each each live video, you know, it's it's about an hour. So what I'll do is after the stream, make my thumbnail go back in 
at any key points or moments. If you want to timestamp something, let me know. Hit me up. I'll timestamp it. <clears throat> Make sure it's easy. That way it's a little bit easier if, you, if you're like, oh, I want to skip the warm-ups and let's just go right to the birdhouse. Um, and I'm going to skip the birds. You can just jump right to that point in the video. Okay. But that's after I stream. So. All right, let's come, let's combine some primitives here. Probably warrants another warm up, but we're just going to roll with it. So what I was thinking is you could have two shapes and maybe this shape is one birdhouse thing. And then you could have like another one sticking out here. Seriously blows my mind that Scott was on the stream though, just because <laughs> he's like one of my like idol heroes, you know, and he just shows up. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> like it's just wild when I think about it sometimes. Okay. So are you using the bookmarks, Lori, or are you just, you just like having them? I'm curious. All right, little roof here. And then a little line weight to clean that up. And it's just going to feel like a little roof piece. And I've got my... I'm trying to do the mid-century modern, like, you know, maybe there's a little opening here for our birdies. <clears throat> I guess I could do a bird perched here. Now that I'm a bird expert, kidding. <laughs> but let's say we've got one perched here. I mean, you, like I said, I have kind of the general shape. It's not a pretty bird. There's actually a restaurant in Salt Lake called Pretty Bird. It's like a, it's like a modern bird condo. All right, so we got one here, and I'll do. Let's see, are we on time? I'll do one more. How would this thing even be mounted to a tree? That's the question. You know, maybe there's some central element where it's like mounted into the tree or something. I'm just trying to imagine what that what that might look like. Just throw some squiggles in here. You know the dealio. Alright, so there's one. I have not yet, Lori. I have not yet. Hey, Roshan, what's up? Roshan in the house. Okay, if you guys are tired of, of watching me, go check out Roshan's stuff on Instagram. I'm just kidding. I know you hate that, Roshan. But for real, he's like... He's like the Luke Skywalker of our generation of designers. You know, in in Star Wars, Star Wars, not Star Trek. Just kidding. I'm being I'm being obnoxious, but 
You know how Luke Skywalker was was the last hope. Bird housing must be on the rise. <laughs> housing in the in Utah is out of control. Is housing where where you guys live out of control too? Like it's insane here. Um, but no, Lori, I haven't watched it yet. I still need to. I'm sorry. All right, maybe this is just like too shifted. We're just using primitives here. Primitive just means like simple fundamental geometric object. So I'm just going to use two primitives here. What if instead of a perch, we just had like a little landing pad? And why do the holes have to be round on a birdhouse? Could they be square? Are birds terrified of square holes? Do we know if that's a thing? People? How do we know? All right, maybe this one has the opening going this way. Or something. Maybe. Amsterdam's a bubble. It's it's insane. I bought my house three years ago for what I thought was a high price. <laughs> oh, a community pool. That's a great idea. <clears throat> like a bird bath type thing. Maybe it's just off to the side. It's like this super modern shifted cube so this could be this could be the bird bath and then this is our second entrance can't see it because it's from the other side you know but maybe <clears throat> maybe there's a little window for our birdies yeah maybe Oh yeah, so I bought my house three years ago. Um, I'll just say for what I thought was expensive. I don't know if birds are afraid of square holes because I've never seen a birdhouse with a square hole, so who knows, right? Who knows? Anyhow, um, and now it's worth like, what would that be, 50% more than when I bought it? It's wild, it's absolutely wild. Oh, yeah, so I didn't finish my story about my kids, so <clears throat> I think I think we're going to get a bird feeder because that way, as my son put it, it's like, it's like we can have birds without having birds. And I was like, yeah, now you're thinking. All right, let me color these up. Uh, 234. Let's do some more. This is fun. Let's do some more. A group of scientists conducted a study. Four to five birds prefer round holes. Oh, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> round holes had food inside. Like, you could you could certainly do one with, like, a, a pill-shaped hole. There's no reason you couldn't do that. All right, I'm trying to remember. Let's look at some of these roofs on these mid mid-modern houses. So I feel like I'm doing the same thing. All right, I'm going to use... This is not a mid-century... What is it? It looks too modern, this picture here on the right. But I'm going to use this as inspiration 
for some of the shapes here. There's also stuff like this. That's more modern. But I like the slab construction. You've got the glass. This one's really cool. It's like raised with a little platform. I want this house. So cool. Yeah, Roshan. So it's it's gone up 50% of the original value that I paid for it. It's gone up that much in value. Actually, let me check right now and I'll, I'll tell you guys. I won't show you where I live though. Okay. Logging into Zillow. Do y'all Zillow shop? I Zillow shop. I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to live in this house. If I was a billionaire, <laughs> yeah, it's gone up. Wow, it's gone up even more. This is this is insane. So the housing market here is just freaking wild. Just insane. I wonder if I should treat this like an architectural sketch as far as line quality goes, but let's do it. But yeah, birdhouse is probably all I could afford at this point in terms of houses. So, oh, Roshan, you missed uh, Scott Robertson was here, by the way. For a minute. When I say treat like an architectural sketch, I mean when architects sketch, oftentimes their lines are like intentionally squiggly, squiggly. Versus a product design sketch, usually you're trying to like, you know, do do quick lines. So it's it's a little different in that regard. Houses give you a headache. Oh, yeah. I mean, they are expensive for sure. And they also, yeah, there's problems. <laughs> um, I think I did a stream where I, th I think I explained to you guys I had to redo my bathroom last year. I think because they did such a ter terrible job. They did such a terrible job with um, whatever renovations were done before that, yeah, I had to rip my bathtub out and redo everything. That's not fun. I'll say that. It's absolutely not fun. How do we make this, this birdhouse fun but also mid-century looking? for like a, a giant bird. <laughs> Roshan, but you didn't miss me. All right, I gotta get the kidlets in a minute here. I think I'm still good on time. Actually, I'm gonna make this bigger so it'll. All right, so here's a little here's a little trick for you. When you're sketching, let's say you sketch something too big or something's off, you can always add something that gives. Um, context to your design so in this case having 
you know, because of the other sketches I did, and I'm like, oh man, this feels like a huge birdhouse. Well, if I make the perch a lot bigger, then all of a sudden, <clears throat> changes the scale of this thing, right? So just a little trick for you, if you are sketching and you sketch yourself into a corner and something feels off or too big, you can always throw something in to um, help with that. I recommend books on sketching. Buy my stuff. Just kidding. What kind of sketching? I would say probably your best book is going to be How to Draw by Scott Robertson. So that's a good one. Um, after this year, I'll have a different recommendation for you. <laughs> But how to draw is pretty good. Because it's it's not specific to industrial design. Um, it does focus on drawing objects mostly, but it's a really good uh, really good place to start. I think it's a, it's expensive though, I think. Not that my stuff isn't. Um how to draw. Oh, interesting, it didn't show up. How to draw Scott Robertson. Oh, it's not that bad. Paperback is uh twenty seven and which seems seems about right, and then the hardcover is fifty. Spoiler alert, I didn't say anything, Roshan. If anything, y'all are making stuff up. Eh. Uh. All right, little squiggles here, leaves or whatever, foliage. We don't even have to color it. That's the power of, of background elements. I mean, if you wanted to color it, you could. Right? But you're starting to get that, that feeling that, oh, maybe this is in some trees if you want to add a you know, branch. You can do that. Super quick. Super easy. This one's hanging though. So maybe its branch comes down off the page. But yeah, I don't even I don't even have to shade that in, right? It's just lines in the right places to give some context. Alright, let's color these up real quick. You're welcome, Matthias. Matthias. Thanks for joining and hanging on the stream. Remember, I will be updating the... Um, ooh, these markers smell good. I will be updating the, the stream after it is published to include chapter markers. So it's a little easier for you to find stuff. Right. I'm going to do that because I love you. Hello, Kia. Um, let me actually change the setting here. Um, okay, let's see. I forgot what the setting is. Hmm. Hey. Why can't I find this? Trailer redirects some ads. Sorry, just a sec. There's like an option where I can turn off the automatic posting. Oh well. I'll have to figure it out. Figure it out later. Oh, actually that that's what I'll do. 
Nope, it's not letting me do that. Okay, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Thank you, Kia. Alright. Let's do... Yellow roof. On this guy. I had a marker manufacturer approach me. I won't say who. But they were like, hey, we'll send you some free markers. And I was like, cool. And then they were like, okay, here's what we expect from you. We expect you to do a video, unboxing, and explain. And then I was, I was like, no, no, no. It doesn't work like that. Mm -mm. It's a lot of free labor for, for $40 of markers. <laughs> People are funny. Sorry, I can't help but laugh, laugh at that one because... It's a lot of time. It's a lot of time. I mean, I'm grateful for free stuff when I do get it, if I get it, but that was, that was a lot, you know? It's a lot. Here's $40. Can you do three hours of work for us? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help but laugh because it was just so absurd to me. Just absolutely absurd. It's like, no, I don't do stuff for free, man. Unless it's my YouTube. But if you're going to hit me up with, here's some free product. Build or, yeah, make some video content. Because it takes a lot of work. Which is why I don't um, <clears throat> do the pre-recorded stuff nearly as much as I used to. Some of you probably remember that. It takes a lot of, takes a lot of time. And yes, I know what I'm doing. All right, I'm just trying to get contrast on that edge. But I also feel like time is slipping away. As are my pens. Okay, I'll have this dude watch me. It's like, what's up, everybody? Have him relax with his, his arm back a little bit. When can I design about Apex Legend? <clears throat> I don't know. Um, my kids, my kids love playing Apex. That they do. At least my oldest does. My youngest doesn't really play. They play Apex, and then there's this other game they've been playing called Ark. I just don't. I don't have time for it. More patience, like that Ark video game. I don't know if y'all have heard of it, but like if you log out and you're not there, like people can, so it's like a survival game, right? But if you're not there, like your, your body, your avatar is still there and people can like kill you and stuff. So it's super frustrating because you got to go to work or go to school or whatever. And then you come back. And all your stuff is gone, all your hard work, whatever it is you were doing, has been totally messed up. Really frustrating game. I don't have time for that. The last time I played like a game seriously. Oh, that print did not work out. The last time I played a game like super seriously was uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I think it is. 
something like that. Okay, as long as my extruder is not messed up, I'm okay. But that print did not work out. My watch is telling me to stand up. It's like, don't be lazy, stand up, dude. Thank you, Latrice. Yeah, when you get looted overnight in that game, it's just so frustrating, so. My kid is very patient. He's just trying to be good at that game, but. It's really tough, apparently. It's like, Dad, you wouldn't last five minutes. I'm like, yeah, because it's super frustrating. Like, ridiculously frustrating. All right, almost done here. Uh, you played that, Latrice? Ninja Gaiden Sigma? Man, maybe I'll replay it. It was, it was a really good game. So hard, but... Like, the type of game that as you're playing it... Because I, I, I don't do online games much. I prefer to just play stories in games. Maybe I'm just an old dude, but... Um... And truth be told, I think part of it is nostalgia in the sense that <clears throat> when I was a kid, I used to play Ninja Gaiden, that game on Nintendo. You know, before you could auto save and do all that stuff that you kids do today. This is bird architecture, Christian. We're doing bird houses this week. We have a Discord and... Uh, this is part of the weekly sketch challenge. We're doing birdhouses. You can thank Jordan for the topic. It's gray is too dark. Yeah, Ninja Gaiden on Nintendo, man. Like, you would wake up, or at least I would wake up on a Saturday morning and go to my friend's house to play. And we would play all day. Because the thing is, you couldn't you couldn't shut the system off or you lost everything. Like, everything. Okay. And that is not fun, losing everything. So... You just sit there and play all day from like 7 a.m. till whatever time at night. Also, patrons, let me know what you think the next weekly sketch challenge would be. If you're interested in doing that, I'd love to hear what you think, what you want. Or if there's if there's any requests, really. Patrons and channel members. I should specify unless Apple Jacks and everyone switches over. But either way. I'm easy. Ah, yes. Those old school video games. I used to like Metal Slug as well. Um, I mentioned Super R-Type at the beginning of the show. And how they have a new version now. But I think I'm going to... I'm going to try and play that new version. I want to play Metroid as well. Metroid. Is it Metroid Dread? Is that what it's called? Something like that. It's 
something like that. Okay, I got a little time, so let's add some marker to this this one here. We got like five minutes. Tips on how to make your design better. Um, I'm I'm keeping tips ex pretty much exclusive to the patrons. I know, I know. But I'll always talk about drawing. I'll give you life advice, career stuffs. Don't worry. Hello, ID sketching with Coach K. Is that a new channel? I haven't heard of that. Who dat? Who dat boy? Who him is? <clears throat> ID sketching with Coach K. Oops. That orange is it's too orange. Alright, how do I save this? Let's lean into it. Let's just go full orange. Boom. Problem solved. That's the thing with the Ohuhu markers. As nice as they are, sometimes... <laughs> sometimes you get surprises when you think... Like, I, I, I wouldn't think... You know, looking at the, the tip of this marker, that it was going to be this orange, but here we are. So, we'll just roll with it. We'll just roll with it. Thank you, introvert doodles. ID sketching with Coach K. I got to look that up. Who is that? I have no idea who that is. Online during keynote. You, oh, okay. Cool, cool. Good to meet, or glad you're here, I should say. I'm terrible with names, though. So if, if I ever meet you in real life, except for Apple Jacks, except I'll, you'd have to say, I'm Apple Jacks. And then I would know. Uh, let's see. ID sketching with Coach K. Okay, okay. All right, I see you. I see you, fam. Nice. Is this just for you students, or are you, uh, are you coming at me? Just kidding. So, yeah, with the hoo hoo markers, you look at the cap, and if you just go by the cap, <clears throat> you will in invariably and inevitably... Make the mistake I made. Ah, I got you. Well, good to connect, Mark. AKA Coach K. Oh, who who printers? <laughs> well, whatever the whatever the situation is. It's weird. So I need to remind myself because I always forget. Check your marker colors when it comes to the Ohuhu markers because I'm never quite sure. Because, you know, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you'll get in it. Actually, they should update that quote. Life is like a box of Ohuhu markers. You never know what you're going to get, even if they tell you what you're going to get. <laughs> uh, but they are cheap. They're fun to use. So I use them. So remember what I always say, you know, depends on depending on the purpose of your sketch, you can pick a different finish level if you want to get super detailed, scan this, redo it, whatever, fix, touch up. Um, not every sketch you do has to look like it belongs in an art gallery. And that's okay. It took me a while to, to learn that in life. So I'm going to save you some of the headache and just say, you don't have to make everything 
fabulous. Unless you're Roshan, then everything you do is automatically fabulous. It's just how it is. It's how it is when you're a rock star. Life is like a box of a hoo hoo markers. You never know what you're going to get in it. All right. Let's get a little shadow in here or reflection, whatever. Here. You know, when people ask me what I want to be when I grow up, you know what I tell them? Tell them I want to be like Roshan. Ah. Uh. <laughs> He's going to leave the stream now. Life is like a box of a hoo hoo markers. You never know what you're going to get in it. What color are you going to get? Even when it tells you the color. You just never know. For real. Next t-shirt phrase. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they won't appreciate if I did that. Seriously, if you're watching Ohu and you need you need some like product direction on how to actually make markers that artists want because you're so close. You are so close, so close to being exceptional. Maybe they know that already though and they've they've hired someone, but I'm just saying. Just saying. Alright. I've gotta go get my kidlets before <laughs> by Roshan. <laughs> before they get mad at me. So So yeah. That was our quick stream today. We're doing birdhouses for the weekly sketch challenge. If you want to even build one in 3D. Um, like I said, a few people are doing that, or if you want to make a prototype, whatever it is, you know, started doing some birds as well, just to, just to warm up. I still got to work on my birds. This one's like, this is the bird you see before you die, right before you die. Okay. All right. With that. Oh yeah. I forgot we did a warm up car too. Lots of stuff with that. Thank you everyone. Much love to you. Happy Tuesday. I keep forgetting what day it is. Uh, that's my little guy. Hey, everyone. Thank you for coming to Sketch a Day. <laughs> is that how I sound? Hey, everyone. It's me, Spencer. Um, <laughs> thanks for hanging out. Uh, it's been fun. I got to go get my kids. Um, let's see those sketches. So submit them on the Discord. And that is sketchaday.com slash discord if you're interested. And let's see what else. Oh, passion is the process. Love what you do. Do what you love. Share something if you learn something today or anything, really. It's going to make you better at what you do when you have to break it down and explain it to someone. All right. Much love and shout out and thanks to the patrons and channel members once again. Your support is appreciated. If you want to check that out, that is patreon.com slash sketch a day come on work patreon is giving me grief right now okay patreon.com slash sketch a day all right have a fantastic wherever you are rest of your day or beginning of your day and i'll see you next time right here on sketch a day peace